12 ocean predators. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Number 12, Portuguese Man of War. It's not Portuguese, and it's not really a man of any sort. And even though it looks like a jellyfish, it's not that either. It's actually a siphonophore, that is a colonial organism composed of tiny individual life forms known as zoids. Zoids are so fully interconnected that they cannot survive or function independently as does an individual organism. The strange looking creature is in fact a carnivore and uses venomous tentacles, known to reach 98 feet long by the way, to sting its prey, whereupon the paralyzed meal is easily consumed. Residing in the Indian, Atlantic, and Pacific Oceans, the man of war is named after its supposed resemblance to the Portuguese version of the 18th century sailing ship. We'll take the word for it. Number 11. Lizardfish. They're usually small, but certain species can reach almost two feet in length. They're called lizardfish due to their body shape, which is a bit cylindrical and slender, somewhat resembling lizards. This creature has dark, scaly skin and a mouthful of very sharp, needle-like teeth, which includes the sharp teeth on its tongue. They can often be found in shallow coastal waters, although some species live at 1,300 feet. When living in sandy environments, lizardfish can camouflage themselves by changing their body colors. Number 10. Sea Leopard, also called the Leopard Seal. Their only true predator is the Orca, but the Leopard Seal carries some pretty impressive credentials on its own, as it's known as one of the deadliest predators in Antarctica. Weighing some 1,300 pounds and measuring up to 12 feet long, these animals like to feast on their fellow seals in addition to penguins, using fearsome, one-inch long canines to tear into flesh. Leopard Seals don't seem to like penguins, by the way. Waiting on an ice shelf, the seal waits until the birds start entering the ocean, then seizing the birds, the seal hammers the penguin against the ice until dead, then proceeds using those big teeth to dig in. Number 9. Sloan's Viperfish. More than half the size of its head, the viperfish's fangs are used to impale prey when swimming headfirst at the victim with its mouth wide open. That gives it the world record when it comes to biggest teeth in relation to head size among fish. They're usually found at depths of 2,500 meters and favor tropical to subtropical waters. Number 8. Snaggletooth. Located in deep sea environments between New Zealand and Australia, these fish can grow two feet long. They're notable for their unsettling eyes and an appendage that resembles a luminous chin which is used for luring in prey and for its mouthful of sharp, curved, needle-like teeth. They're also known as star eaters. Number seven. Torpedo Rye. They have a pretty cool name to go with a cool look. In fact, the torpedo we all know and love is actually named after this species of electric rye. These creatures will bide their time in shallow waters, waiting in the sand for prey to pass by. And when prey does appear, such as small fish and invertebrates, the torpedo ray will rise and wrap its body around its victim. After delivering enough electricity to stun or kill its prey, it makes mealtime a simple affair. Did you know that certain species of electric rays can deliver electrical charges up to 220 volts? Number six, Atlantic Blue Marlin. While the Blue Marlin is native to the Atlantic Ocean, they can also be found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans as well. They're easily identified by their angular fin and sword-like bill. Some researchers believe the Blue Marlin uses their bill to slash, stun, and kill the prey. These fish prey on mackerel, tuna, squid, and numerous smaller fish, and the marine predators can reach lengths over 16 feet long and weigh over 1,800 pounds. Interestingly, females can grow to be four times heavier than the males. Doesn't seem to inhibit their speed though. Marlins have been clocked swimming at speeds of 50 miles per hour. Number five. Barracuda. With their sleek, streamlined appearance and fearsome reputation, it's no wonder these fish actually inspired Plymouth to name a car after them. They're among the most opportunistic ocean predators, often surprising and overtaking prey with short bursts of speed up to 27 miles per hour. And although they primarily prey on fish, barracudas will attack larger targets, usually killing them by ripping and tearing out chunks of its flesh. Now, while such incidents are rare, there have been reports of swimmers having been bitten by barracudas 
barracudas, but the fish are known to be attracted by bright and shiny objects. So if you go snorkeling, don't bring the bling. Number four, bull shark. Opportunistic hunters, bull sharks are known to attack turtles, crustaceans, marine mammals, and even other bull sharks. Of all known cartilaginous fish, these guys have the most powerful bite force, measured at up to 1,300 pounds. Even though the great white tends to be better known, the bull shark is thought to display the greatest adaptation and hunting ability of all sharks. Their noses carry electroreceptors that detect prey and a lateral line picks up vibrations underwater. With lengths up to 11 feet, these apex predators can thrive in both freshwater and saltwater environments. They've been spotted in Peru some 2,500 miles up the Amazon River, and in the U.S., they've turned up in both the Potomac and Mississippi rivers. Number three. Killer whale. With a name like that, it's no doubt the orca is a major league ocean predator, notwithstanding the fact that they actually belong to the dolphin family. As an apex predator, however, orcas have no animals preying on them, but killer whales have been known to go after dolphins, seals, and other marine mammals, in addition to adult whales. Male orcas can grow to 26 feet and weigh over six and a half tons and can be found from tropical seas to Arctic and Antarctic regions. And don't let that big size fool you. They're one of the fastest of all marine mammals, reaching speeds over 35 miles per hour. Number two, moray eel. Known for the snake-like body and wide jaws, some species can grow to nearly 10 feet long and weigh over 60 pounds. And they're not really eels, they're fish. The lack of fins and scaleless bodies, however, gives them a serpentine appearance. They tend to be nocturnal animals and rely on their acute sense of smell to catch prey. Once caught, the moray will use its large teeth to rip apart its victim. Along with a powerful bite, the eel's teeth are rear-hooked. Should a human suffer a bite from them, the animal must be pried off manually. Even in death, the eel can't release its grip. Number one, polar bear. Okay, right, so what's a polar bear doing on a list of ocean predators? Well, it might seem unlikely, but because polar bears spend much of their lives at sea, they are considered marine mammals. And they are considered to be the biggest mammalian terrestrial predator with males weighing some 1,500 pounds. They hail from the Arctic Circle where they are that region's apex predator. Their main food source is seals, which the bear can smell from nearly a mile away, even if several inches of snow is blanketing the prey. While the ice is their favored hunting ground, polar bears are great swimmers and have been spotted 200 miles from land as they hunt for food. But a favorite tactic is to patiently wait by a seal's breathing hole, then use their fearsome claws to drag its victim onto the ice once it surfaces. Did you know that polar bears will take on animals twice their weight, including walrus and narwhal whales. See you next week on Deep Sea Sundays.